I am not the type of person to typically rant about things, but this is the kind of stuff that pisses me off. I looked up the tuition cost of three schools in my area. That's SAE, Belmont, and MTSU. And the average tuition for their recording programs is more than $30,000 per year. And that's not even the worst of the worst. If you want to go to Full Sail University, which is a, tra a trap that I almost got sucked into myself at a high school, prepare to dish out $78,000. $78,000. I don't know about you, but the average family does not have an extra $80,000 just laying around to pay for this sort of thing out of pocket, which means audio production students are starting out their careers in a massive amount of debt just to learn the basics, just to learn the basics of recording. Oh, and by the way, I can tell you from experience that after sorting through a mountain of candidates for hiring my own audio engineering assistant, that these poor kids are learning the basics at best. When it comes to making a lasting career out of this, here is what a fellow six-figure home studio owner recently told me. It's not that they didn't teach me what I needed to know, it's that they taught me the exact opposite of what I needed to know to be successful in this. It is bullshit like this that makes me want to throat punch somebody. How is it okay for this to be a widely accepted way of learning the craft of recording? At a time where online independent education is so affordable and of such high quality, why then do parents still send their kids off to these schools? Why are they so willing to put their kids into so much debt for this? And even for families that saved up for college, there is a better way to help your children follow their passion into a successful career in audio. Let's do a little fun math. The audio program at Full Sail University is $78,000. What else could you do with that kind of money? Well, first you could buy every single course, every single ebook, every single program and membership to every single one of these popular recording studio websites or recording education websites. There is The Recording Revolution, there is Pensado's Place, Pro Audio Files, Mix with the Masters, Home Studio Corner, Audio Issues, MixCoach.com, Produce Like a Pro, Nail the Mix. I could insert a half dozen more awesome educational websites here. And after buying every single thing those websites have to offer, you could take the leftover money, which by the way is more than $60,000, you could spend three to $5,000 on enough gear to get your career started. And yes, that is more than enough to get started. Then you can move to a music hub like Nashville, Tennessee, right where I am now, and buy your own home. Or you could just rent a place and have enough money and savings to cover your living expenses for the next year or two. And since you don't have to worry about bills for the next two years, you can focus on learning your craft by studying all those resources you just bought. And you can focus on building relationships within the music industry, which in Nashville, there are tons of those people here. And then you can focus on gaining hands-on, real-world experience by recording the friends that you meet here in Nashville. And as you gain the experience and the confidence to do this professionally, you can learn everything you need to know about the business of running a recording studio at the sixfigurehomestudio.com. So with all these incredible resources at your fingertips, why then? Why is it okay to bury these young kids in debt before they're ever even given a fair chance to succeed? There is a better way to learn audio production. I've read dozens of sad emails from people who have equal amounts of regret and debt, and unfortunately there's nothing I can do to help them change the past. But let's look at an email that I got from someone recently who can still be helped. They're still in a place where they can be helped, and he's asking my advice. But I'm curious what you would tell him at this point. What would you say? Here's what he says. He says, hey man, I wanted some advice. Currently, I'm enrolled in Full Sail University for their online music production program. And the deeper I go, the more it seems like a possible bad idea. Hmm. The total tuition is $58,000 for the whole online degree plan, but I just don't know if all that money is worth it, or if I just stop now and focus on more independent studies. I feel like a lot of what I'm being taught is really basic so far and isn't really pushing me. What would your advice be in a situation like this? So this kid is 25% of the way through this $58,000 program, and he's asking my advice of what to do. And I'm sure by now that you all know what my advice would be, but I want to know what your advice to this young kid would be. Wherever you're watching this, whether it's Facebook or YouTube or wherever, if there is some sort of comment option, post a comment and let me know your thoughts and your advice to this kid.